Happy Friday. Hey, y'all. I'm feeling so much better, you guys. Don't I look better? I definitely feel better. I passed my quarantine days. The doctor advised 10 days of quarantine um, from the day I got tested. And it's been exactly 12 days. I feel so much better. And um, I can smell. I can taste. I'm feeling more like myself. Put you in there. I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that um, I made it through this. I'm a survivor. I am actually a survivor. I survived coronavirus. Can you? Can you? So excited. I got a few things I'm working on um, for myself. I can't share them yet, but I will be sharing them very, very soon. And I'm super, super excited um, for the opportunity to be able to tell you about what I've gone through in the past two weeks because some people didn't make it through. You know, and I, I got a few comments. L let's talk about this. Let me go ahead and order my coffee. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to order my coffee. I've got a few errands that I have to run. And um, I wanted to get me a coffee while I'm out. Um, so I had a few comments over the last couple of days where people said this coronavirus isn't real. Um, it's just the flu. And I wanted to, you know, a lot of times I don't address anything that's been said. Um, any and everything because some things just, you know, they're not worth even addressing. But I did want to, I did want to say something in reference to this coronavirus not being real. If you look up at the news and you see and I know there's been a lot on, on the news and people are afraid and people are nervous and and it sometimes it feels that the news just hypes it, things up to a different level and it, I agree with that it's the reason that I don't always look at the news I don't watch the news every day I get the news third party y'all I get the news through my husband if something really stands out on the news he'll share it with me and he even he doesn't watch the news every day so I get it right but if you look at all the reports of the people that have died if you I I know personally people that have been affected by this coronavirus and had to bury their family members my mother friend back home from Columbia South Carolina coronavirus affected the entire household my mother's friend husband died on the 1st of June June 1st from coronavirus five days later my mother's friend the wife died from coronavirus on the day that this mother passed away her two daughters were in the hospital with coronavirus they lost their father and their mother in the same week that they were fighting for their own lives and they both made it through their parents were older but they passed away their parents passed away my mother's best friend miss notra miss notra's husband just buried his mom she had coronavirus my husband's friend dropped dead and didn't even know he was sick it was coronavirus so this virus is real the fact that i contracted it didn't infect my husband and i didn't die from it was a blessing so please if you have negative comments to say about coronavirus or anything else this channel is for positivity this channel is not 
for negativity. We are all so blessed when we wake up each and every day. Whatever your faith is, whatever your belief is, even, even if you don't have one, the fact that you... And I, you know what? I'm not trying to preach to nobody. I'm not trying to be up on my soapbox. It's not like that. But come on now. If you woke up this morning, it's a blessing. Use the blessing that you receive every day. The ability to think and breathe and see. Use that. I'm sorry, I'm in a train. So if you can hear that, I apologize. If you receive the blessing of life, every day that you receive that blessing, use it to help somebody. Use it to bless somebody else. If it's a kind word, if it's a, 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 a thoughtful gift, if it's a smile, you have the ability to have a big impact on somebody else. Use it. You don't have to say things to tear other people down because you don't feel good about yourself. You don't have to use your speech to hurt other people. You don't have to use your speech to be negative. You have the ability to help other people to have a good day just by the things you say. So think about what you say before you say it. The comments that I saw about coronavirus being real didn't make me feel bad. But I think about the how the things that any of us say affect other people, not just myself. And I was like, you know, Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear that you can change the way you feel about yourself and the way others feel about themselves just in the words that you say. We have a powerful tool right here. Our mouths. Our mouths are so powerful. I had the best conversation yesterday with my um, old co-worker and friend, Heather. I had the best conversation and Heather and I don't often talk um, because I don't work for virtual customer service anymore and she works in a different department. But Heather is a real friend. We check on each other. We um, encourage each other. We support each other. And one way she's really supported me um, is through my channel and I know for a fact she said it yesterday but I know for a fact that she was telling the truth that she first started watching my channel because she just wanted to support me and then my channel became a part of her and it, it made me feel good because she could show me things around her house that she was doing because she was encouraged by me but anyway Heather and I were having a conversation and we were talking about um, how powerful um, the things that we say, just the simple things that we say are um, for other people. And that's what inspired me to say what I just said. Sometimes the comments that I see, not only on my channel, but in other people's channel, because you guys, you guys know I'm a real YouTuber, right? I am a real YouTuber. I don't look at TV. I look at YouTube. I, I look at other people's channels and I sometimes shout those channels out because they encourage and inspire me. But um, I see sometimes the comments that people make about the people that they're viewing. If you don't like my content, if you don't like what I'm saying, if you don't like how I look, if you don't like my size, don't watch me. You don't have to comment. Don't watch me. If you don't like it, just don't view it. If you, I have people that watch the entire, and I'll link it up here um, in the iCard. I have a mobile home tour that I videoed, I don't know, a year ago um, when I was very new 
at doing mobile home tours. The camera was shaky, and the only thing I kept saying was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? If I viewed that home today, I would say the same thing. It was how I felt. That home was beautiful. But I have people that have viewed that entire video and actually counted how many times I said beautiful. Somebody posted, you said beautiful 55 times. That's ridiculous. No, what was ridiculous was the fact that you took the time to count it and then speak negatively about it. There had to be something about the video that you liked, that you even watched the whole thing to comment on how many times I said beautiful in the video. So why would you even comment? And oh, by the way, the fact that you looked at the whole video mean, means that you saw every ad that posted on that video and I got paid for it. Thank you very much. Whether I said it 55 times or not, you blessed me. So where you thought you were tearing me down, you were really helping me. But, you know, um, <laughs> I said that to say this. Man, we have such a powerful tool. Let's use it. Let's encourage each other. It's the reason that I don't like people to speak negatively about some of the more inexpensive houses that I post. There's a house out there for everyone. Somebody which you may not, not care for, somebody may absolutely love. A dish that I make may be simple to you or stupid to you. And somebody might have been looking for a dish like that and really appreciated it. So, you know, you don't have to like everything, but you don't have to let it be known either. You know, the Bible says that we should be quick to listen and, so, and slow to speak. So, you know, let's do that. Let's, sometimes it's not about how you personally feel, but how you can encourage somebody else and how they feel. If I have a friend that absolutely loves something, whether I care for it or not, I encourage them to continue loving it because that's what they love. And what you love doesn't, it doesn't mean it's for me. You know, but it doesn't mean that I have to tear you down either. So that was just in my in my heart to talk about you guys and share with you. And so it wasn't why I turned the camera on in the first place, but I'm so glad that I talked about it and got it off my chest. Man, I wish that, that there was a way that we all could be in a room and hear each other and talk about things. And, and that may be possible. That may be possible. I think I would be really good at a podcast I think I would be really good at a lot of stuff but it's finding the time and I'm actually working on finding the time and finding the balance too so um, stay tuned for more to come on what the mobile home diva will be doing next because I have a lot of great ideas and I hope I get to share them with you soon so anyway, I'm going to want to spend some more time just for you this morning. Mobile order for Christy. Absolutely, we'll see you at the window. Thank, Thank you. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe this video so you can see every time I upload. All right? All right. Thanks so much, and you have a good day.